Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the DXGI error not currently available on your Windows computer. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I would suggest doing would be to open up a web browser. Doesn't matter which one, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to open up Google Chrome. And into the Google search, I'm going to go type in DirectX and I'm just going to search that up. Best results should come back from Microsoft Domain, so down direct X end user runtime web installer or something to that extent. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Select the download option after you've selected the correct language. Should be English more than likely by default here. Go ahead and run the file once it's done downloading. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on yes, and it says welcome to set up for DirectX, accept the agreement, and then left click on next. I'm going to uncheck the option to install the Bing bar, I'm not interested in that. I'm just going to continue through the installation process, it should not take very long, only about 44 megabytes for the full file size, so I'm just going to continue on here. Looks like about a minute or so left of the download process. And once it's done, select finish. Would suggest restarting your computer and then see if that has resolved the problem. If you are still experiencing a problem, another thing you can try here would be to open up the start menu. Left click on the setting gear icon on the left side where you hover over it, it should say settings. Left click on that. Select the system tile. Select the display on the left side. And now on the right side, scroll down until you find Advanced Display Settings and left click on that. And now select Display Adapter Properties. Select the Monitor tab. And then for the screen refresh rate and it's measured in Hertz, you want to go and select if you have a higher frequency. So in my case, I only have 60, but if you had something higher than that, select that option. So if you had more options in here, go ahead and select the highest numerical number. And then select Apply and OK to save the change. Once you're done with that, go ahead and close out of here. Restore your computer, and that should hopefully be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.